Hey, I'm Kristen Ishihara, Mayor of the City of Longview, and I wanted to give you a brief update on our council meeting last night. Uh, the proposed animal ordinances that we were considering were approved last night, and so I want to tell you what that looks like. The city will be rolling out an educational and awareness campaign to help make sure that our community is aware of those new ordinances, uh, but that does mean that now your rabies requirement for your pet is every three years, not every one year. A microchip is mandatory, and that will help us if your pet gets out, return it to you as quickly as possible to relieve the stress on the shelter. And if you have an intact pet, you will now, starting February 1st of 2025, be required to get a permit through our Longview Animal Care and Adoption Center. That will be a $25 annual permit um, with an application required with the goal of helping encourage individuals to get their pet spayed or neutered to help lower our unwanted pet population. Um, we hope that moving forward, that will allow us to see less stress on our shelter. We'd also like to thank Longview Paws, who very generously has committed a certain amount of funds to add a fourth animal control officer that will also begin February 1st so that our community can be more responsive and help address the safety needs um, as well as looking forward to supporting responsible pet ownership. So very excited about those new things. Uh, we also talked last night about the upcoming Stamper Pool Park. Very excited about that project. The city has uh, city council approved and moved forward with the design there being 100% recreational to include some big slides, uh, water features that would be very family friendly. So a real um, attraction that you will want to bring your family to and we're excited about moving forward with that project. We also talked about the upcoming partnership with Longview ISD who through their bond package will be building an auditorium that the city will have the opportunity to partner with them and build in use for all of the residents of Longview. Uh, more information on that to come. We also talked about and just had a discussion and presentation on the current uh, road maintenance of the city of Longview and what creative options we could have to improve that moving forward. Um, the city sets a standard and then reviews that every year by doing a testing of one third of the roads. So each year uh, we test and understand what the level, um, the standard is on each road so that we know which roads to improve. But are there things that we could uh, do better there? Of course there are. We hear from you that you want our roads to be great and we want that too. Uh, at the end of the day, it is about money. <laughs> so city council will consider how better to address those needs in the future. I'm very excited about these next two things. Uh, last night, City Council approved the renaming of a road over by Hardison's to be called Julie Rachel's Road. Uh, Julie, we value you and your commitment to Hardison's and our city so much and all that you do. We are very excited to be part of that process. And last night, also, City Council approved a contract with the House of Disciples, who will be picking up our litter. Uh, you may have already seen them out in the community. They are now designated with a vest that says City of Longview Litter. So look to see them cleaning up your community uh, in the coming weeks. But thank you guys so much for participating. We are glad for your investment in the City of Longview and appreciate you very much.